Hello, everybody. How's Hello. It? I hope you've uh, enjoyed some of this uh, nicer weather we've had. It's kind of uh, dreary and, and cool today, but yesterday and Friday was just absolutely yeah. beautiful. And we did get out for a little while yesterday and, and go for a ride and, and uh, uh, saw a pretty sunset. Boy, and, uh, man, uh, was, it, was it Friday or Thursday? It was Thursday that had the biggest. Oh, yes. Sunset. I mean, I don't know if you uh, saw the sunset um, Thursday, but uh, um, oh my gosh, it was one of the most amazing sunsets I've ever seen. Just uh, the different colors and, uh, um, you know, just, just really amazing. If you saw it, you know what I'm talking about. It's just a, a pretty amazing sunset. But uh, yeah, it's been nice uh, to have typical a typical sunset. <laughs> you know, the, you don't get them like that anywhere else. Yeah, you don't get them here. Maybe the Rockies. Like that. <laughs> but uh, um, anyway, yeah, it was just beautiful weather um, the last few days. Uh, uh, it's been nice having a little break from that uh, bitter cold we we had uh, uh, a little bit earlier. And uh, little Uncle Larry, my mom, uncle is uh, visiting with us, and he's come in to, today. You can get on over there if you want to. <laughs> Uh, it's kind of tight in here, but I uh, introduce you to my, my uncle, uh, uh, my dad's brother, my late dad's brother, uh, Larry Elrod. Um, he's been with us on a lot of excursions, and, and uh, we've even got pictures of him on the blog uh, with us. But uh, um, uh, glad to have him with us tonight. He's sitting in seeing what we're doing. So uh, um, anyway, tonight we're going to um, uh, do a couple of things. Um, we're going to talk about. Uh, our EIC journal, because I'm really wanting to get that crank back up. Uh, uh, it's something that we neglected, along with really everything else, and we'll talk about that when we talk about the EIC journal. Um, but uh, it's, a, it, it's a neat little blog that I, I've used, and I, I encourage Rick to come over and um, you know write a few notes and yeah, stuff, too. Yeah, but I'm so lazy. <laughs> well, um, but... Uh, uh, and I used to encourage Jim too. Of course, Jim's <laughs> kind of out of it now down in Memphis. Yeah. So, um, but uh, 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 anyway, it's a it's a uh, blog that where um, up until 2010, we were periodically I, I would come on and I would just tell about what we had been doing um, uh, from the last time I made a blog entry. And uh, I'd like to use it just as a journal that we update every, uh, you know, every couple of weeks, maybe every once, even once a month or, or so, and, and just kind of go over what we've been doing. Um, of course, if you're going to be following us here, you're, you're going to know what we've yeah. been doing. But uh, other folks might would rather read it on the blog, and it, and it gives kind of a permanent record that uh, you don't have to sit and watch uh, a whole video and, and pick the bits and pieces out. It'll be there. So... Um, anyway, uh, some of the early stuff uh, I read, was reading back over it, and who wasn't uh, going to look at us for it? Make me well, an error. Uh, Y'all, uh, hey. Yeah, uh, <laughs> well, okay, I got him derailed there. Uh, uh, but anyway, uh, um, it, it's a good place to uh, check things out um, and see what we're doing. And and that first uh, the first part I was reading back over it, and I was kind of entertained by it myself. Uh, um, just the. Uh, um, uh, you know, the way it explains uh, some of the things we're doing. If we find something really interesting or we're interested in, uh, you know, we, um, I share our thoughts over there about it right at the time, you know, around the time, um, instead of uh, like we've done, waiting 10 years to, uh, nine or 10 years to get back to it. Uh, but uh, uh, anyway, let's uh, let's just get right into that. And uh, um, we'll just uh, go to that page and... Uh, Take a look at it, and uh, um, one thing I wanted to talk about, and I, Rick hadn't read this I yet, I don't think, but uh, um, uh, I, I did this this morning because um, I, I said that I was going to, when I, a couple of weeks ago, when I made uh, the first entry we've done in about nine years, since 2010, um, um, I made an entry, and I said that I was going to do this, uh, kind of go back over some of the things we've done, and, and uh, of course, I was approaching it from the... Uh, um, from the the feeling of myself that uh, we had done a lot, you know, a lot, we hadn't done a whole lot over the last ten years. I mean, we we've been really sporadic on uh, what we've done. Really, over the last couple of years, we got more active over the past two years or so. We got right. more active with things. 
we've had a lot of things that we've had to deal with. That's right. And, and that every I, human being on earth has to deal with. That's right. And, uh, of course, uh, um, you know, I lost both of my parents uh, uh, back during, over that time period of 2010, 2012. Uh, of course, 2009 was a struggle with my, my father's illness as well. And uh, um, other things, uh, Rick has had his um, uh, things that he's had going on in his life, and, and Jim Jim did too. Of course, he moved to Memphis. Yeah. Well, I had back so, surgery in thirteen, right? And uh, you know that that puts that a dent in things. Thing right. change things, right? But uh, but anyway, I just uh, um, uh, when I was writing that day, I was thinking back over uh, some of the things we have done. I mean, we haven't been totally useless. Over the last ten years, we've done a lot of stuff, and and I'm just going to go over them here. We uh, we had the of course the Heavenly Heartland uh, road trip in the spring of 2010, Calico Rockin' the Bluff City Bash road trip in the fall of 2010. We had the old Lunenburg Music Fest um, in the uh, the fall of 2011, mm -hmm. and uh, man, that was a that was a great event. We didn't have a whole lot of people there, but the people mm -hmm. who were there, was, that's right, it was great. We had a uh, Ozark Traditions, we had several bands, uh, um, uh, a couple, two or three bands from Mountain View, our, our headline band was uh, Don't Stop Please, um, uh, who are now uh, not playing with each other anymore, but they're all playing music, um, and, other, and, and man, that was just a great show, it really was, um, and we raised $1,100 for the uh, um, uh, Community Lindenburg Center. Community Center that night, so... Um, uh, anyway, it was it was a great time, and then uh, of course we had the Spring Splash Two road trip in the spring of 2012, and and Don't Stop Please was with us again then, and uh, they carried their instruments um, down to the waterfalls and stuff. There's a picture on the uh, blog There's here. Some video yeah. somewhere. Um, Show you that. That's a that's a picture of uh, us at the dot hole. Um, and them uh, playing for us at the dot hole. And it was a lot of fun. Uh, they took instruments down to uh, the waterfall at Gid, the Gid Waterfall, we call it, um, and uh, um, played for us down there. And, and Flat then, Rock. And they had, well, Flat Rock was uh, um, actually was after, was, the, uh, was after the Lunenburg, Lunenburg Music Fest. We went down there, yeah. Um, that was uh, the day after the Lunenburg Music Fest. We all went down there. They... Uh, it's, I I wasn't expecting them when we walked because it's a little hike down there into the uh, Flat Rock Hollow, and uh, they they all carry their instruments. Even uh, um, Nick, Nick, that Nick carried his uh, his big double bass, his uh, uh, big up. bass fiddle uh, down there, and they uh, played a little concert for us. Yeah. A lot of stuff that was uh, that that I don't think they've recorded to this day or, I or plus released. You're nothing. Yeah, yeah, they did a special. Uh, uh, you're nothing. They don't. They don't play that much. They they didn't play that much at the time. It was kind of with the previous uh, uh, configuration of the band, but it was a whole lot of fun. Uh, the kids are really talented, and uh, I think they're all going to be going. Yeah, there's places. video somewhere on YouTube of that that I posted. There are, I, and I might uh, uh, share some of those on the Facebook page uh, later on tonight or something. Uh, but anyway, uh, um. Then after that we had the trail we had the Trail of Trees Trail of Tears road trip if you remember uh, back in the spring of 2013 and that was a, a big thing we've got a picture from that too here that's the crowd that went on our uh, um, uh, Trail of uh, uh, Trail of Trees Trail of Tears road trip and of course we're down at the uh, what we first labeled the Jumbo Thong Tree right. kind of got in trouble because uh, we were getting some uh, some uh, some uh, laughs. <laughs> oh yeah, well, some laughs, but we're also getting some uh, uh, some not so uh, uh, desirable traffic on our blog, uh, mm -hmm. uh, leaving uh, links to places. Uh, that word "thong" kind of uh, attracts some <laughs> some weird mm -hmm. some people coming out there. Uh, but anyway, uh, uh, we still call it the Jumbo Thong Tree because it's a long jumbo road, huge so, tree, beautiful. Some people tree. call it that. Uh, Rick uh, likes to call it the grandfather tree now, uh, and that is a good name for it because uh, it is really the most uh, pronounced, magnificent, yes, awe-inspiring tree um, uh, that that I you know can just of. feel the yeah. energy around it. 
uh, I'll tell you, it's something to, you see it from the road, and, and it's, a, you know, you can tell it's a pretty good sized tree. But until you walk down into it, because it's, what, maybe 100 yards off the road, maybe? Yeah. Um, but yeah. Um, as you walk down to it through the, um, through the forest there, um, you know, every every step you get closer to it, it just looms a little bit larger. When you get close to it, you just realize that it's this, ma this massive uh, mass of, of tree. And uh, the, the, the counter... Um, uh, the way it's counterweighted, you, you wonder how in the world, because you know the the weight of the tree is is There's a lot not of over. It's above. not centered, yeah. and we're hoping one day we don't come out there and see it laying on the ground because uh, of the wind pulling up. We hope it's got good solid root system. <laughs> but uh, anyway, it's a beautiful tree, beautiful tree, and uh, one of my favorite uh, trees that we've ever ever done in the county. So. Uh, uh, but anyway, uh, yeah, we have uh, did the Trail of Trees, Trail of Tears road trip in spring of 2013. And then we did a Trail Tree Symposium. Um, of course, uh, Rick and I, yesterday, when we were riding, we are talking about that. I had forgotten that he, um, he uh, had to miss that. Um, but, uh, um, you know, that was fun. Bob Gott came down, and uh, uh, we went out to the uh, fairgrounds. We had the fairgrounds, uh, um, uh, what do you call the, the, uh, the, Meeting hall there, room. or whatever it is there in the in the um, uh, exhibit hall there. But uh, anyway, he did a presentation for us, and uh, Ozark Traditions um, came back over. You know, they do the traditional folk music, and and did a really neat presentation for us, and and shared with us some of the history of uh, uh, of uh, folk uh, mountain folk music and everything. It was a lot of lot of fun. Uh, then we went out also, uh, uh, before we met that day, uh, we had, um, had had people all over the county go out and looking for trail trees along certain routes. And we, we found several, uh, some really neat ones we found that day. Uh, but anyway, uh, then we, uh, we've also done numerous flash excursions um, over those years where we just, uh, you know, a week or so before we want to do it, we'll... Uh, we'll put the word out and uh, um, try to keep the groups a little small. Some of them have been pretty big. We had, I think, we had thirty people on uh, on one of our flights. Yeah, and sometimes we don't even give them a week's notice. Uh, that's and right. Still. Uh, but uh, um, anyway, you know, we've been to places like, uh, uh, of course, uh, Dodd Hole. We've been to the Natural Bridge, doing that, and and uh, of course, uh, um, uh, the uh, Gristmill Waterfall again, and and uh, we, we we try to go some neat places when we do the flash excursion because uh, when we do the flash excursions we usually only go to one or two places. Uh, you know it's not an all day thing like our road trips. But uh, uh, we, anyway, we've done several of we those. We get to spend more time at the area when we. That's do right, that. and, and the, the groups are smaller. We spend more time there, and we can also spend more time with the uh, with people that. Um, uh, yeah, with the that come with us. Yeah, that's right. That we can answer. That's right. Like other things we just make up. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. um, but then we uh, uh, also did the uh, Trail of Trees Mystery Trees uh, presentation and tour when Bob Gott came down uh, um, and we went out to the Knob Creek Church uh -huh. and uh, he showed the uh, the move the the uh, documentary the Mystery of the Trees um, and that's the Mountain Stewards documentary that that did uh, that Don Wells of course is the um, um, founder of uh, mountainstewards.org and uh, if you've been following us on the uh, uh, Facebook page you'll know that uh, uh, Don Wells uh, sent me an email um, just uh, uh, about a week ago, a little over a week ago I think um, and uh, um, he's going to be coming here in July so uh, uh, it's going to be something during the week, they're, they're going to be passing through going out to an event in Colorado uh, but he's going to stop and spend the night and we're going to uh, set up a, uh, uh, an event for that where uh, uh, folks can come out and meet uh, the founder of mountainstewards.org and he's going to do a presentation for us. And we're going to take him out while he's here and see the grafted trees and probably see the grandfather tree. Uh -huh. um, and uh, uh, really what I'd like to do is uh, take him down and show him most of the trees uh, along the uh, um, all uh, the twisted trees and stuff yeah, too. Uh, along uh, the uh, the trail of trees, uh, mm -hmm. along Jumbo Road for sure. And if we have time, we'll take them to some of the places. You know, some of them are pretty spread out. 
we spent how long? Nine hours uh -huh. um, here two weeks ago uh, with Bob Gott uh, doing the uh, deal. Is a good way to uh, kind of transition. But well, we're not done here, though. We don't want to go through the rest of this. You know, uh, I hadn't told you this, but, you know, I tagged Bob on those pictures that we took on those trees. And I noticed Barry Tester had liked them. Right, Barry Tester. Uh, um, you know, that's something I'd consider to ask him to come on. Mm -hmm. I actually uh, um, contacted uh, uh, Dennis Downs, um, uh, his office, and uh, um, uh, he, he got back with me. Uh, we, we contacted him to see if we, he might be able to come down that week as well uh, so we could do a, a kind of a full symposium, you know, a two- or three-day event um, and have, uh, have Don one night and have uh, Dennis – uh, one night, of course, if you if you're not familiar with who Dennis Downs is, Dennis Downs is uh, uh, one that founded the Great Lakes Trail Tree Society, and he is one of the um, really main um, people who have brought uh, this phenomenon uh, to the public eye. Yeah, he's got the, a couple of books. Yeah, he's got a couple of real of, of, of books uh, that um, uh, that uh, you can uh, purchase. Uh, uh, and he has a lot of history too about early early history of uh, um, of uh, people who uh, um, recognize these for what they were or what or what they might be anyway. Okay, so uh, it all depends on who you're talking to, me or Denny. Right. Anyway, but uh, they got uh, she uh, answered me back just a, a day later, and uh, his secretary uh, or um, assistant or whatever uh, wife. <laughs> I'm not sure how how slash, it is. Slash. Right. <laughs> Uh, but uh, um, anyway, uh, she uh, got back with me and uh, told me that they had an event in Idaho that week and wouldn't be able to make it. So, uh, um, But they're wanting to come down and see the grafted trees for sure because the grafted trees are, are important, as we've talked about before several times uh, on our podcast here. But, uh, um, but anyway, uh, um, uh, so uh, yeah, then we had the Trail of Trees tour. <laughs> We've done a lot of tree stuff over the uh, last 10 years. Well, we're blessed with them. <laughs> right. Uh, we did the Trail of uh, Trees 2 tour, uh, and that was in connection, of course, with the Calico Rocks uh, Native Amazing. American Day. Uh, that's, again, Bob Gott came down and showed mm -hmm. Mystery of the Trees at the museum and, and uh, did a little presentation there, too, um, after the, uh, you know, we, we ended up there that day. Uh, but then also we had uh, the Hidden Hollows Road Trip back in 2018. Uh, in the spring of 2018, that was a lot of fun. And then, of course, uh, just recently we had the Schoolhouse Rock and Roll trip uh, This just this past fall as well. Um, so, uh, I mean, we haven't been, I mean, we haven't been inactive. Um, it's just that we haven't done, the first, uh, what, six or seven years of the blog, we're in better better position. Um to be able to get out and, and do stuff. And, uh, um, and uh, of course, with all these uh, things that happen in our lives, it just didn't just seem quite that important at the time uh, to do it, I guess. We're a lot older now, too. Uh, that, uh, this, this is true. But, uh, um, chronologically. Right. You know, not that we act that way, <laughs> but chronologically. But anyway, um, the last couple of years, as I said earlier, we have gotten more active, doing a lot more things. We've done a couple of uh, um, tour events just in the last couple of years, and hopefully we'll we'll keep that going. We'll want to do something in the spring. Uh, we've got this thing going uh, uh, for next July when uh, Don Wells comes. Uh, we want to get uh, this uh, th this going with the um, um, uh, historic uh, preservation, uh, Mill Creek uh, uh, Historic Preservation Group. Um, and, uh, uh, you know, we've got a lot of things we're wanting to do and, uh, uh, we are working on trying to, uh, make it so we can. Okay. So, uh, uh, anyway, uh, uh, yeah, the, the, uh, um, EIC journal, uh, you, if you want to go back, you can see, uh, uh, you know, when we visited the, uh, uh, Indian cave, uh, in Calico, the one that's right in the middle of town and nobody even knows about or very few people even know about um you know people drive by it and can't see it um right yeah that's that's pretty cool rick's pointing at the uh, um uh the uh indian pictograph uh there 
Um, but anyway, uh, of course, uh, um, you can see here, um, um, backtrack and forward hole, which is talking about uh, uh, that was at another point um, when we had uh, kind of uh, slacked off on our uh, uh, entries on this. Uh, but anyway, uh, um, yeah, this give you kind of a running thing of, uh, of, of what we've been doing over the last 10 years. So, uh, yeah, check out EIC Journal. Uh, I'd like to get this thing uh, kind of uh, get some activity going. And I know most of our activity happens on the Facebook page, and that's fine because it's a really good platform for uh, uh, for what we're doing. Uh, but, uh, uh, but anyway, go over there and check the EIC Journal out. <clears throat> I hope... Uh, I hope you will. So, uh, um, what do you have to say? What, what do you think about over the last 10 years? What? Well, I think everybody's going to want to know what I've been doing behind your back. This is Taco. This is uh, an official mascot. You know, here too. Yeah. This is Denny's he's dog. <laughs> but he's my little buddy too. <laughs> Uh, <laughs> yeah. I just saw he's looking his butt. <laughs> uh, he's my sweetie. Yeah, he's my he's my sweet boy. Um, but uh, anyway, uh, let's just go ahead and get right on into the tree talk. Tree talk. Yeah. Um, tonight, what we're gonna do uh, with the tree talk um, is uh, we are gonna kind of do a running commentary on the video I put together. And let me tell you, this has been a struggle. I've I've probably spent 14 hours um, over the last two weeks. Um, yeah, <laughs> I have been. I've been griping every time I see Rick. I say, man, this video is kicking my butt. But it has been. the uh, The program has just been giving me problems. I I've tried to update it and and, and stuff, and I just it's just really been giving me uh, problems. I, I have to redo stuff all the time. And a matter of fact, I was putting, trying to put the finishing touches on it tonight um, to show. And uh, um, when I uh, when I exported it, uh, to to there was some stuff that didn't uh, come out on it. So uh, anyway, we're going to show the video tonight anyway. And what it is, it's just video. Um, it's about a 30-minute long video. Um, and uh, uh, we're just going to kind of, uh, there, of course, there's plenty of commentary on the video itself, but uh, um, if we have something else to say uh, during the video, we'll we'll uh, um, do that, okay? So uh, uh, let, we'll just go ahead and get started with that now, all right? Um, this is the uh, uh, video um, clips from uh, um, our day with Bob Got documenting trees um, a couple of weeks ago, two weeks ago. Call it Expedition Trail Tree 1 because we are going to be going back out probably uh, uh, next month sometime uh, to do Expedition Trail Tree 2. Uh, we'll have at least this many trees again uh, in, in other parts of the county. One or two maybe in the same part of the county. Yeah, this is the one that they said was two Osage burials. I believe that's what it said. Uh, I, now you tell I, I have no idea how they come to that conclusion by they looking want, at the tree they want and, trees that are at least, uh, and everything. Uh, but uh, um, one inch is diameter. It's one of those twisted trees, and we know there are several of them like. Right. This is a really interesting tree too. It's uh, it's really. Yeah. I, I tell it's you what, really it's, interesting. Um, when we were riding down the road that day. And uh, I guess did you reach look over and see it, or, or yeah. one of us looked over and saw it. Is like, whoa, yeah. that is cool. And it's cool from all sides too. If you look right here, you can see where the tree. Where the and tree it's in a special right place here. too. Yeah. I'll see some lines in it. You know, Bob talking about how the grain's not broken there. He, he, he is actually. There's talking. a hornet nest under there <laughs> a little bit. Uh, really? That's something uh, <laughs> uh, we. I wish we had a better internet. So it looks one. like when this tree was bent, it was uh, almost looks like a lightning strike, don't it? Yes, I think yeah. Bob was well pleased with this group of trees that we had for him. Yeah. Um, 
Yeah, all right. This internet service in Melbourne's terrible. I mean, we're uh, I know it's choppy. Um, and uh, yeah, it'd be nice to be able to monitor and see what's going on so we can actually uh, uh, hear what's going on. But with this program, uh, we can't hear the audio on the video. And uh, you know, like you were talking about earlier, about the, there's a theory that they twisted the... Yeah, they, uh, yeah. That's what that uh, little Cherokee girl told me that nurse. She said that uh, they uh, somehow twisted them. This would be a good time, I guess, to like they, they, look and see if anybody is on the line. Is there any proof of that? They sort of worked, worked the... Yeah, working yeah, like, like this, this yeah. until they loosen the fibers. Where right. um, hey, if you're out there, shout at us on yeah, the uh, page. Tell us if you got any questions or anything. We'd be glad to, to answer them. Ron Billingsley and uh, Brother Chick Wolford, Dwayne Lawrence, uh, Miss Marietta Lawrence. Uh, Chosewood, uh, Heather Shands, and uh, uh, Willie Dean. Hey, Willie Dean. That's almost, that's almost impossible. Right. Yeah. That's <laughs> what I think. What a, a master of knowledge yeah. to do that. Yeah, and, and the the uh, yeah, and the most and the most uh, telling thing too is the fact that the you know that the uh, on the opposite sides of the trunk of the main trunk. Yeah, there's a protuberance as if it, it, just was, like it was stuck right through. Right. I don't know how they do that. The only thing I could think of is, as you were saying, we were talking about the, the dividing, the dividing those fibers yeah. and make it easier for them to make a slit. And uh, on this uh, video, also, I had titles, one. and uh, well, some of them disappeared um, right. when we uh, yeah. when it was exported. Right. You take one and just bend it over. And we might ought to go ahead and say that this particular one is just well, across the river in the Stone right County. Yes. Which was Edgar County. Uh, the other tree I saw down down the road is a little different. It doesn't have the sharp bend in it, but uh, it's a big tree. Very big it might even have been Lawrence County whenever that tree is put up. And sometimes, um, as for the what we call the grandfather tree, one yeah. the first time you came down, we documented that um, that big yeah, that arch big, one. Yeah. Um, from the road, it doesn't look that like that big of a tree. Then you walk up on it and you just realize what a monster it is. So. Yeah, it's, it's pointing right along that road too. Right. Right to that spring. Right to that yeah. spring, that the spring down there. Yeah. Oh, baby, shut up and leave you alone. Oh, no, I'm yeah. fine. You see Bob measuring it in different yeah, spots. Yeah. All those measurements go into a formula right. that the Mountain Stewart's have. Is that right? To well, determine the aids and everything of the tree. We can this river road part to Barnett. That, that's what there we'll you do. Go. He went with me on a lot of the trips. Now, this next tree uh, that we'll see here just in a, uh, just in a few minutes um, is, I mean, almost directly across the road, and, and both of them are pointing in the wrong direction, which is talked about. In the wrong direction? In the, in the same direction. Oh, okay. The wrong direction? Yeah. Okay. I, I thought there was something I missed Bob saying. <laughs> My cousin had come up, they live down by San Jose. This is up in Marin County, pretty close to uh, Hamilton Air Force Base, a little town called Nevada. It's a, it's a city now, but back then it was just small. And the uh, war was up about five miles up the road. And back then we didn't have much transportation, so we rode our bikes up there to go fishing. And we were going up the road, and this big light was coming down the road. Right I see again. No noise, no nothing, just dead calm. But there was this big light coming down. So we parked our bikes under a big old oak tree and sit there. And that light came, hovered right over us, 
I mean, it's exactly <laughs> right over us. The whole area was kind of light. Third time's a charm. And uh, oh, yeah. no noise. No I wind, mean, no mean, noise, no nothing. And then all of a sudden, bingo, he's gone. And uh, never did. My cousin and me never talked about it. <laughs> <laughs> hey, it was, it was strange. Here's the tree just across the road. Yeah. Literally just the other side of my Jeep that you saw in the background. There was a copperhead right under my belly. Oh, man. I laid it right on the ground. But he just crawled away. That's where the bend is. And, and we found several that are like that. Yeah, it's very possible that well, the soil, the soil has been built up around it. When me and Ryan may have been off the ground now. Well, it's off the ground, but it's been a month. Not by much. The, the bend is right above the ground or right at the ground. <laughs> and it may, you know, the one at Sandtown, the one that Renee found up, up by Blankenship Rocks, both of them are just like this. They're right on the ground, but not touching it. Look at here. See that? That, that threw up and I didn't know it. Um, I, I tell you, this is the program. I've got to figure something out on it. That, that's not supposed to be in there. <laughs> well, we are thankful that you're watching. Yeah, we're, we're glad you're watching. Yeah, I don't know. Three to go. It's possible they are there. My, my Uncle Larry over here can tell you um, that... Uh, I was um, cussing, by uh, trying to get this there, thing together, sure he was, uh, and uh, we had to go ahead and uh, uh, for this, uh, location. render it and export but, uh, it the way it was to use tonight, but uh, um, I will uh, get this put together in the right form, uh, the way I want it to, and we will uh, publish it again so there's no, none of us talking on it. And you'll have but, the uh, uh, um, pure video with the uh, titles and everything. Right. That but this is uh, supposed to go there. Um, you know, this is something that the mountain that stewards uh, does not um, you, uh, disclose the location of any of these trees. Um, uh, they the, uh, they keep the uh, information the in their database the uh, for mapping purposes and things location. like that. But as far as uh, sharing them uh, uh, with the public, uh, they do not disclose locations. Yeah, that's what Don Wells has done. Right. He's he's been doing a lot of research and and uh, um, he uh, he meets with the uh, um, their tribal elders. He's actually a um, now you like to pretty, kind of sketch uh, quite a, bit of, a shape of the tree as Cherokee well. Cherokee blood and himself. Um, well, well, when, uh, when, when you do your a lot. <laughs> documentation, you like to kind of do this video. Of it too, probably not a good time. Yeah, like well, but uh, um, things right. like a. Right. Um, you know, they're, they're doing uh, that one don't have a um, surveys on water courses, under underground water courses and water sources underground, um, graves, uh, all, all kinds of stuff that we yeah. figured out with these caves, trails. Uh, it comes up. You name it. Now, yeah, this turns. is a big tree. Yeah. That's. He even deep. says it here. Yeah. He had no idea. Man, that's a big tree. Yeah, <clears throat> this is a huge tree. This is a uh, what, maybe a quarter mile from my. Uh, Those others from from the first two yeah. that, that uh, we documented. Yeah. Now I think these are on uh, the uh, the Cherokee Trace that whenever 1817 to 19 they uh, they uh, had a treaty with the U.S. government and come in uh, uh, okay. you know, the White River Valley on the west side. Well, it's, it's that, these trees may have been some kind of a survey of their own. The, He's getting the measurement around. When they came up here, uh -huh. when they first came over here to check out 
this land that they had been granted. 137. Of course, the Shawnee ended up uh, coming to these areas, just uh, not too far from this tree. This is these three trees, of course, are in Stone County, uh -huh. uh, not far from the river. Um, on the ridge, be a little over 40 um, inches. And uh, yeah. um, but the Shawnee uh, were in here uh, from 1819 to 1827. Was it? That's a pretty good tree. Delaware. They're going by the uh, uh, Korean, International Kikadu Arborist or, uh, a, um, formula. That would put it in the um, 250, one, uh, 300, uh, 300 years. Uh, so uh, yeah, they, I mean, they, they was Shawnee. Now we're back in the world, back over in Israel County. Check out a tree that um, we almost couldn't figure out how to get to. Right. Uh, well, knew how to get to, but wasn't going to wave water away. Uh, we ended up not having to because we went, we drove what a mile and no, back, and then back come in on the back side. And, or the front side, whichever you want to call it, and uh, um, ended up uh, being able to go right up to the tree sure and, and get a measurement and uh, document it. You'll recognize the river road here. Yeah, it is across the across the bio there, the uh, slough. This is a tree we've noticed, and you may have noticed if you ever uh, go down the River Road, you've probably seen this tree uh, uh, down close to River Run. Now, for you, a sensitive Ooh, that was cat. Cool. crap. Yeah. But oh, wait, it was crap. Man, <laughs> yeah, I left your, your, uh, <laughs> your audience and your, what you said. The well, tree is a lot bigger than it looks from the road. Oh, it is. It's going to be a pain in the butt to measure that. Uh, I don't mind getting a little wet if we have I think, to. I think I'm snaking around. No, I uh, have trailed, um, Cynthia uh, Elliott says, uh, have trail trees uh, been located in Salem? I don't know. I've never gone up there to look. I'm, I'm sure there's some up there. There, there was bound to be trail. Um, along the, uh, um, wood. the uh, what is it? The Spring River. Spring River and the um, uh, South Fork. Yeah. Um, I'm sure there's trails along there. You, you can find trail trees. Uh, if you're from that area, man, go out and look for them. Keep an eye out for these trees. Uh, if you see a, a, oh, a really strange shaped tree, yeah. now, you know, you, you can use your common sense and tell what is probably a, um, something that's been done by a weather event or a, <laughs> a, you know, just deadfall or something like that. Uh, matter of fact, we, we have an example I want to show you of a deadfall here. Um, we got yesterday when we were out. Um, I've got a video that I'm going to put up later on. Right. Um, that uh, okay. kind of shows you how some trees can be formed by nature. Yeah. But they won't look like this. No, they won't look like this. That's what I meant. I meant west. Southwest? Yeah, pointing southwest. Now this tree is on Lafferty Road. Maybe of course. Pointing the uh, river road. Oh no, that's well, around Lafferty. Is followed a, yeah, that's Lafferty Road. Yeah, and of course, uh, Lafferty yeah. Road. Uh, uh, that yeah. this portion of Lafferty Road most likely the ravines, the uh, was river. along the same corridor um, that uh, was the uh, uh, the old Lunenburg Road. Okay, so uh, a tree a lot like Lunenburg. this. A tree just like this, except it had a hollow nose here. But that big around. And that would have been but one of the earliest trails in the county. Can. And uh, Barnett was down the hill on a steep incline just like this. And in fact, that, that tree was just about this size. And he's holding all this saplings back so I could get around and take some pictures. Uh, Cynthia uh, Elliott says she well, has possibly three or uh, he said, I see four something uh, in there. Three. He said, that's got My eyes. And window is it large me. enough to. I said, come on, Barnett. He's always okay. messing with you. Come on, Barnett. Uh, and uh, he said, no. Possibly three, or at least they have that shape. Uh, 
Well, uh, Cynthia, if you have a cell phone or a camera and uh, wouldn't mind sharing those with us, put them up on the uh, uh, Facebook page. Um, let us take a look at them, and, and we'll tell you whether we think uh, um, uh, they uh, are trail trees, so, you know, at least worthy of being documented and taking a look at. And I know Bob would come up there to, uh, to document them, because he's documented. Uh, <laughs> Yeah, this was uh, this one's over on Lafferty Road, which uh, we believe uh, Lafferty Road, of course, is connected to the uh, um, the uh, Bethesda area of the Ruddle uh, Ruddle Hill, the area where Ruddle Mill was. Um, this was an important go. route in the early days. This is one of the earliest roads of the county here. Yeah, this is an interesting tree. And, uh, and this is a high tree up on a ridge that would have, uh, right I'm sure, uh, been meant to a a look from the trail along the bottom or something, maybe. Strange yeah. anomalies to them. Yeah. Right there. Now, this is a tree where uh, that, um, this side, right down, uh, of course, uh, like Don Wells. Maybe down the hollow to the river. Uh, from yeah. the trees. Yeah. Notice that tree over there, even next to that one. Uh -huh. Now this is another tree along uh, Lafferty Road. Um, there was another one also that uh, um, is on Lafferty Road um, that we didn't go up to because it was so grown up. We just we, we wouldn't have had time to go up there and get the other trees we wanted to get that day. So. We'd already been out about eight hours. That's right. We'd been out, well, probably seven at that time yeah. anyway. Uh, still had quite a long We're down here now uh, on uh, um, Brooks Bailey Branch um, here in the uh, community of Gid. This is a tree that we found several years ago. Happened. Passed by about this tree. Oh, you know, probably a hundred times in my lifetime and never noticed it over here. Um, but uh, anyway, it just lies right along the uh, uh, Brooks Bailey's branch here. Um, really, really interesting looking tree. Bob's up there getting the measurements on it. That's the one it did, isn't it? Yes, this is the one uh, it did along Which direction uh, is this the one Brooks Bailey branch. You, to what you're checking uh, out? I did have uh, yeah. um, titles up for it, but they it's just gotta disappeared. Be pretty well north. Um, Gremlins. Yeah. And this uh, this tree uh, uh, does point to a spring, just, well, well. just up the creek a little ways. Well, now um, if you take a close look at that tree, you'll see that at one time it had two uprights and had two uh, actually upright trunks that were growing up, and one had, uh, I guess, been uh, fallen over or died or something, and uh, so it's only one now. We can we're not going to mention that you left your camera there, dude. Yeah, we're not going to mention what happened when we went back <laughs> after it either. <laughs> we did find it, by the way. Yes. It was right exactly where I had walked up and left it on the tripod. Yep. Yeah. <laughs> Cynthia says she will. Uh, waiting to see those get the natural. Uh, Cynthia, they're actually occurring naturally. Um, but, but, uh, we found a deadfall yesterday that had what? How many trees pinned? Seven. Over? Seven separate trees were bent over, but what? Four or five of them in a bone shape like that. Yeah. Well, to think about it, you know, it's obvious that most of those trees are dying or that, that was, but there was one there that looked like it would make it to be a grown tree. And this was a single, a single deadfall, single deadfall pine tree that fell. Of course, we're in the um, area, so we had to bring Bob trees. down to see the gristmill waterfalls. We had to take Bob to the waterfall.
Phones on silent, please. <laughs> the size of this tree is just really incredible. This is just such a amazing tree here. This is another tree that when you walk up close to, it just kind of gives you a feeling of huh? just oh, something about it. it. It's just so massive. Uh -huh. Somebody else might have done it. Yeah, they might have. There's been that many people coming. Late. This is, of course, along Sandtown Road. Uh, if you've ever What's been down Sandtown Road, you may have noticed done. this tree. Do you remember? Yeah, it's uh, the biggest one I've found. Been a little over four and a half feet. Four and a half feet around the circumference, or that's oh, that's, diameter. that's diameter. Wow. And where was that at? That's in uh, Van Buren County. Okay. Well, that would make sense, wouldn't it? Oh, it's a beautiful tree. Yeah. Now, now we're we're not far from we're um, a Polk Bayou, which is one of the the well Polk Bayou. We're we're the right, but Polk Bayou. We're going to go to the very headwaters of Polk Bayou when we leave here okay. to see the Big Spring uh, tree there at Big Spring. And Big Spring is the headwater. We are in Independence County right now. <laughs> right now we're in Independence County. Yeah. Uh, my son Stone just told County. me to turn my ringer off. <laughs> Started Stone? We Stone County across the river, didn't we? Hey, yes. Ryan. And been in Izzard County until now. Now we're going to head back to Izzard County. But we're, uh, we're in what what's called the sand town area. Now we're on uh, um, uh, Bailey Sawmill Road, uh, just a uh, um, quarter mile away from Big Spring, the actual Big Spring, which is the water source that um, is the headwaters of Polk Bayou. Um, and uh, um, as you know, uh, Polk Bayou was the original name of uh, Batesville. Um, Pope Bayou comes out there, and um, this would have been along this, yeah. somewhere along this route, women, would have been, uh, um, you know, the old uh, pathways well, from Batesville well, okay, um, so to yeah, Wizard County down towards uh, uh, Mill Creek about, and uh, just uh, it should And this big up. spring is a known and wonderful. County. You can watch it after um, this Yeah, that's right. <laughs> it will be entitled. But uh, now this site you know, big spring, in progress <laughs> um is a known rest stop for the binge detachment coming out of batesville uh the wagons and stuff when they come yeah, out they stopped here and got water and stuff like that and rested so this is a documented stop on the trail of tears binge detachment well, that's a nice yeah, it is. The tree at Big Spring. Well, I think this is important. Now, um, neither Rick nor I can take the credit for actually spotting this. We have been looking for trees along this route. Of course, it's along Port Bayou, naturally. Uh, we've been looking through, and we've been through here probably, uh, oh, a dozen times looking for trees. Um, over the years and, and uh, see, it's kind uh we came through here one time and uh with uh Pauletta uh, you've met Pauletta but uh and then Maria Broughton uh was one of the first times she come along with us and uh, we got so up to the top right of the hill to stop to see if we can go down and look at the spring and she said did y'all see that tree down tree. there what tree <laughs> <laughs> and we rushed oh, back down here and I was amazed man because you know this is a kind of narrows down at the bottom you know, when you have a hypothesis, it's you're supposed to make predictions, right? Yeah, no, top and bottom. Isn't that part of uh, um, uh, ev giving evidence to your hypothesis is uh, making predictions? And yeah. we've predicted that we're going to find them in places just exactly like this. Well, that's that's what I'll do. I'll, if somebody tells me about a spring, I made some good friends during that. Then visit I'll go right to the there. spring. Then I'll make a big sweep around that spring. Just to see if uh, Just, and I usually yeah. find a tree. Wow. Like Barnett and I were out in the Washita Forest, and uh, we drive along, and I looked down, and there was this natural, natural pond down there. But there were a lot of trees and everything all around. And I said, 
Barnett, that's that's natural. There's got to be a tree down there. There was. Well, <laughs> yeah. You know, it's amazing when you get hey, out. Cool. Just like anything, you know, someone who's a um, hey, who air, hunts arrowheads. You know, they can spot just the corner of one sticking out of the dirt, and they they know what it is. They can I think Colt uh, kick it up. But, you know, just like uh, um, I've learned to, you know, the how to look at the lay of the land, and I found several caves just by saying, hey, that just doesn't look right, you know, or something like that. Um, same thing with waterfalls but uh, um, and trees, you know. I mean, you've got to... Your eyes have got to be trained for them. Uh, well, your eyes get yeah, trained I, for I them. Spot thieves and Barnett will say, how do you see that? I said, well, Barnett, I don't know. But I said, I just, and this sounds crazy. It really does. But when when I'm out like this, I just, I just feel like somebody with me. Yeah. <laughs> I don't know. It just, it's like I told you before. I, I'm always looking up on the ridge to see see that Indian standing up there watching me. <laughs> yeah, right. Well, today it's Barnett. Yep. That Indian is Barnett. Yep. Um, He's a cachet right. type right. deals that, that could yep. be look like maybe you know some kind of a some kind of um, herb or or yeah. something that was or even for sacred yeah. purposes you know an offering or something like that because yeah. you know I know a lot of people. Um, think that they could even be, some of them be sacred, yeah. you know, be, uh, yeah, for sacred, uh, right, like, that's what I think those, uh, grafted trees are, that was a sacred area, and, um, I really believe Yeah, that. we're at our last, uh, tree for the day. The dead, the dead man, uh, it's just about dark, it's actually after sunset right now. Um, but uh, we had sure to try to get work pretty, this one in. This is along uh, Highway 56, we were down there, the just above Piney Creek. Tree. I'm sure more and, uh, it. it was a wide oak. Yeah. Which yeah. is an important um, thing because we know. Well uh, tell. Uh, I think there's uh, one tree uh -oh, that we fires. looked at that we uh -oh. could not determine. Uh -oh. That was exactly. the one down there on the left. Oh, that was the one, wasn't it? And the bottom. And the river. What did you see? It's right here on the side of the road. We've never been over to see. Bob, we passed this uh, tree you know, hundreds of now, times. Now this one is along Highway 56. Of course, I say this in the video. Just one day, you just have this to one spot just, it and just. I mean, <laughs> we've been by not to have any time. Two years ago, maybe. <laughs> yeah. All right, that's that's the show, y'all. You know. photos that Bob sent me, these are photos that he submitted along with the uh, information uh, to uh, uh, Mount Stewart's So these photos uh, are now on the database. If you go over there, you'll be able to find these photos uh, and some more uh, of each tree uh, that he shared over there on, uh, on the uh, listing. Glad you, uh, glad you joined us. Yeah, we had a good time uh, with Bob that day, and uh, we will. We are planning to go out next yes. month sometime. We're going to try to uh, look for a window when it's going to be warm on a weekend, Friday or or Saturday, um, and or even a Sunday, I guess. Yeah, again, anytime. Just uh, not BAC. Right. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. But uh, um, no, we we've gone out on BAC days before, haven't yeah, we? Yeah, Wendy BAC. Oh man. I, I'll never forget going to uh, uh, Blankenship, Blankenship Rocks, Rocks the first time we went. Oh my gosh! That stands for badass cool. <laughs> Blue. <laughs> Blue. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> um, but uh, yeah, and, and then uh, uh, where else was it that we went one time that it was just freezing cold? Oh, well, uh, we took Larry for a ride. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> that's right. We we did. 
Mm. Larry will not ride anymore in my Jeep <laughs> during an ice storm. Oh boy, that was a that was a freaky day. We thought we, we were going to have to. With a good answer. <laughs> we were thought thought we we're going to have to foot it out through six six or eight inches of snow from uh, way out in uh, the backwoods over on that we were in Sharp County at that time. Yeah, that, back almost over, the Independence. Yeah, back over around the. Uh, um, uh, Poke Bayou area over there. Way the other side of Sydney. Right. Uh, but, yeah, we're just going to go ahead and finish everything up, uh, put a wrap on it tonight. Uh, if you got any questions about the trail tree deals, uh, like uh, Cynthia, uh, man, show us some pictures uh, of those trees. We definitely want to get them. And, and uh, if you're if you're out back roading, keep an eye out for these trees uh, and uh, uh, take a look at, you know, search our blog and everything for trail trees and uh, do a little research for yourself. Um, there's uh, um, some great resources, mountainstewards.org. Go over there, and you can learn a lot about trail trees over there. Of course, uh, Great Lakes Trail Tree Society has, has a, uh, a web page, and there's a lot of great information there, too. And, of course, we mentioned uh, um, uh, 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 Dennis's books. Yeah. Um, um, uh, Don right. Wells also has uh, some books out, uh, the, the Mystery Trees, and, and of course he has that video too. Um, yeah. That, uh, that's just really good. And now, there's some stuff out by a uh, Osage female elder that's got a lot of her information. I can't remember her name now. Well, um, but uh, I know Don went and talked to her. Yeah, I think, if I'm not mistaken, uh, Mountain Stewards. <coughs> Excuse me. <coughs> Mountain Stewards is also working on a new video that actually talks about some of what you were asking about earlier, Uncle Larry. Um, the uh, um, how they know, you know, about what these trees mean and the sites and everything. Um, so uh, uh, you know, they've got some experience, and you know, they've looked at dozens of sites and they've they've doused them. Uh, um, they've uh, you know, done all kinds of readings and everything on the area, and done all kinds of work on them. So, so uh, that that'll be interesting when it comes out. I got one more question. What's that? In what year, approximately what year, uh, all them all them uh, Indian tribes, so different. Did the government start moving them, moving them west? Well, some of them started moving on their own in the 1820s. No, well, the the Treaty of 1817, they start they people started moving. They they they, they yeah. foresaw what was coming, um, and then the of course uh, Indian removal happened, and then a lot of them moved voluntarily before the forced marches happened in 1838. That's when uh that's when the Binge Detachment came through Izard County, right through Melbourne probably. Um, and uh, down Jumbo Road. Um, well, right sad. through where Melbourne would end up being one day. Right. And of course, it wasn't Melbourne then. It, was, it wasn't even Milk Creek then. I don't know. It was just probably a trading post down at uh, um, yeah. the spring. Uh, uh, Arnold down Spring. Down Arnold Spring. Yeah. Say, they got an old Sage Nation right there, right there at uh, Oklahoma. Uh -huh. right across the board. Yeah, yeah. and that's, sure they that's one that Don is working with. He's working with them. He's uh, Don is um, go on his way out to Colorado to uh, um, um, meet with, with the uh, Utes. Yeah, the Ute tribal elders out there and talk about the Ute trees. That's of course Barry uh, Tester. I don't know if you're watching or not, but um, of course that's Barry Tester's neighborhood out there. Um, uh -huh. But anyway, um, just want to tell you that uh, um, we. Although we haven't talked much about the Mill Creek Historical Preservation Group uh, and the things we're going to do on that's uh, we're just kind of riding things out, but we're going to get that going. We want to see uh, that stuff start happening. Uh, but we do have events that we're working on. Uh, got uh, got some ideas rolling around our head. We just got to uh, make sure that we can handle everything. Um, we've also got a music event we're uh, we're uh, talking about getting together. Um, so. Uh, uh, yeah, we got a lot of exciting things <coughs> happening. Uh, uh, maybe some joint uh, things, with, uh, some things, and also uh, um, I, I was thinking I had mentioned this to Rick, but uh, I think uh, 
we might need to get a uh, flash excursion together here uh, in the next month or so if we can uh, get a few people out and take them somewhere they had never been before. So, well, uh, you know, it's that time of the year when you can see for miles. That's right. Uh, um, uh, also, I'll uh, go ahead and see if I can get a uh, page up, take a look at something right quick. Um, oh, let me see here. I guess I can go to that now and open the Facebook page up. Um, of course, we had a contest today. Um, if, if you've been on the, the Facebook page uh, at all today, the group page, um, we had a con I, I did a little contest today, and I'm, a, I'm probably going to do uh, that probably the next uh, two or three Sundays. We're going to have a game day uh, where I will ask a question. It's a pretty simple one today. Uh, it was answered right away. Um, of course, I, I put a picture up of, um, where There's is it? Here. Video. There we go. Um, yep, Rick's video's up and ready for play. Um, the Deadfall so in Beta progress. Has already watched it, I see there. Okay. Anyway, I put up a picture of the, uh, um, uh, the uh, Bleeding House, what we call uh, the Bleeding House. Um, let me just go to that um, we'll see that uh, and uh, I ask uh, the first person to identify that house and what its uh, purpose was uh, besides um, being a uh, um, let's see here what the purpose of it was besides being a dwelling place, and uh, um, of course it was answered. Uh, I mean, within just five minutes, uh, Miss Charlene Morris came on and identified it as the Byler House, which yes, it was the Marshall Byler House. Um, probably uh, he was uh, there probably maybe the last there, ones to live on it. That's right. I, I I mentioned that later on. That that is the Bleeding House, and uh, if you look at the photo here <clears throat> of it, um, it uh, has a. Uh, it has a uh, some kind of a, um, fungus or something growing on it, and it's red, and it's all over the house. And they can paint it, and it'll come right back out. <laughs> right. <laughs> and mm -hmm. um, years ago, I don't know if it's... Uh, <laughs> Anything you want to know, ask Wayne. That's right. Wayne Hill will tell you all <laughs> about it. He's, he's going to kill us. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Um, especially because I know there's a bunch of you out there that get into the paranormal stuff and the ghost chasers and all that. So, uh, and we would, we've asked and, and, um, said maybe we might be able to, but Wayne, if you're watching tonight, we want to take some folks out to the bleeding house one night. Um, like to do it on a, like to do a Halloween uh, type tour and go to some of the haunted places we know of in Edgar County. And this is one of the premier sites that we'd like to go to. So, uh, uh, the Bleeding House, of course, uh, Doc Fleming had it uh, back in the 30s and 40s, uh, or well, 40s, I think he died in 34, what, it was 1934, I believe, uh, I put up here. When the train was a-coming. All right, let me see here. Uh, I, I, I shared this after she had won that, but uh, it was uh, 1934, yes, he stepped out in front of a train um, there in front of his house. So, of course, the railroad tracks are right there. Uh, it's right there on the river. You've probably seen this house if you've been to Boswell. But uh, anyway, Miss Charlene Morris won the t-shirt, and she's going to pick it up at the drugstore this week. And uh, oh, we've no. got a few more uh, t-shirts to give away. Sorry we can't give you the size um, uh, you need because uh, um, we just have a, a few size. All we have left is uh, uh, like a small, um, I think we have some small um we don't have any mediums anymore. We have small and 2X, I think, is all we have left anymore. Uh, so, uh, But anyway, we're going to give T-shirts away. And, you know, if you win one, if you can't <clears throat> use it to wear, <coughs> maybe you can use a 2X as a night shirt uh -huh. or uh, um, uh, uh, give a small to uh, one of your grandkids or something yeah, like that. Yeah, make a great Christmas uh, present. Definitely. Um, so we'll do that over the next couple of weeks. Uh, that's what I told Miss uh, uh, Miss Charlene. I said, make a great stocking stuffer for a grandkid or a great-grandkid yeah. or something like that. Cecil said he wears his to work and all the time. And well, 
people always like it. That's awesome. Um, and I've, of course, you've seen I've shared a couple of our T-shirts from uh, road trips today on the on the site. I'm gonna do some more of that over the next few days to uh, um, showing you some of our T-shirt designs over the years. But uh, anyway, so uh, um, we'll uh, do this again next week. Um, we say we will. Now, of course, we missed last week. Apologize for that. Just couldn't get the things together we wanted to. Had some things going on last week. And I was coming down with the crud. Right. And a uh, um, lot, lot of that going around. Uh -huh. A lot of, lot of the crud going around right now. Probably will all winter. But um, um, anyway, uh, um, we're going 100%. Well, yeah, something like 95.2%. Or something like that, anyway. Uh, but anyway, uh, uh, we're glad to have you along tonight. We look forward to seeing you next week. Okay. So, uh, with that, uh, we'll say, Ben Taco says bye bye. With that, we'll <laughs> say good night. Hey, what you know? coming here next summer is a big deal in the trail tree world. I mean, worldwide, national, you know, whatever. Don Wells is a big voice. And, yes, one of the top. Yeah, and we're, you know, we know all three of the, the big ones. You heard us talk about Greg Tester, and uh, Barry, Barry. Barry Tester, I'm sorry, <laughs> and uh, Dennis Downs. You know, these guys are the other two big names. So, you know, they're well, Barry Tester is more of a fan, fan yeah. boy, but uh, um, he's got a, a Facebook page for the public. Mm -hmm. Yeah, how you feeling? Yeah, <laughs> ain't that the truth? Yeah. I guarantee you, I blew out a. Coke can full of snot out of my head. Yeah. yeah, I had to take a drink. Yeah.
Uh, well, do you, do you like Taco's appearance on the, the show? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, he kissed Denny and I said, I'd be sorry if I could his butt. <laughs> yeah, well, you need to go back and watch it, watch it from the first when you get time. Oh, I need to stop. We got all this recorded. 